as like the Bowser Jr. for the longest time when Vice Grip was still in the game. Right. Then Vice Grip retired, and then all of a sudden, Tater Nader just stepped up and became better than what Vice Grip used to be. Wow. Yeah, like he's definitely the most technical out of all the Bowser Juniors I've seen. Sure. He kind of makes the character look ridiculous. Uh-huh. Like you never see... And if we were placing side bets right now, you'd have money on K9. Am I, am I wrong? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. Yeah, like, I know. Like, K9's in my crew. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I've known K9 forever. Right? Uh huh. And he's just, uh. Hey, dude, this guy's so. He's a monster. Like, once he gets, a, like, momentum, he'll just start putting on that pressure. Won't let you breathe. And if you make right. him mad, it just gets worse. Like, usually he'll. He stays. You know, like, he's really good at, like, switching up from aggression to, like, being passive and he just sits there and like waits for you to make a mistake. Right. And then okay. like all of a sudden, bam, now, I had the impression open. that K9 was a chic player. Yes, he is. And he's pulled Cloud. Yeah, well, against Bowser Jr. Is, uh, what do you think his logic is for knowing him? Yeah, he's testing out the character. He wants to learn more about it. He's actually been practicing um, Cloud for a little bit because he does have he does have a Cloud in it. I mean, he does have a Diddy and a chic, but like and sometimes he just wants to play another character. Like, he, if he loses, he'll definitely go to, like, those other two. To the standbys. Yeah, but right now, like, all three of those characters are bad matchups for poor uh, Bowser Jr. For Bowser Jr., for, for, for who's poor struggling Wendy. with being low tier. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the, the curse. You get up aired as Cloud, against Cloud. You can't really deal with bananas Good when you're fighting Diddy. Air. And Sheik... Sheik just absolutely obliterates uh, Bowser Jr. And this but was incredible to watch Taternator cover Cloud's down air with various options, forward air or the the, uh, the bomb, what what have you. Yeah, it, like I'm telling you, like Taternator pulls out miracles with this character. Oh no, down air gonna catch the landing. Oh, got nice tech Great coming out. Great tech. Trying to go for a pivot grab. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the K9 didn't pursue in that moment. Oh my gosh. Got him with the up air, but down are gonna get it, give him a get out of jail free card. Cloud uh -huh. has way too many of those, by the way. Absolutely. Oh, Ooh, that back air killed. Yeah, got him right in the head. It felt just barely. Oh, Here comes the Mecha Koopa, and it turns into a conversion. Very nice. Yeah, you always have to be aware of it. Yep. Oh, that was a very risky up smash coming out from Taternator. Yep. Gets him off stage with four tilt. Throws Mecha Koopa off. I mean, yep. up. Not really getting anything out of it though. The pressure that Titternator is setting up with the Mecha Koopa is expert. It's really a pleasure to watch. It's just so hard for Taternator to land, though. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a back air. Offstage coming back with this. Oh, goodbye. Oh, that's the end. Yep. Unsafe landing coming out from Taternator, yeah, and he gets punished for it. In a perfect world, he would have drifted a little lower and snapped the ledge. But this Even is then, like, you're, you don't want to be on the ledge against Cloud. He absolutely. Won, he he was right. hoping that... It's still at a disadvantage state there, of course. Yeah. Like, he was hoping that K9 was going to be greedy and, like, stay on the ledge, waiting sure. for him to get, like, go for the ledge get-up option. And he did a beefy up B on purpose, so he could hit him uh -huh. with the hammer. And that's, like, the Taternator special. Like, he does that oh, okay. all, all the time. All the time. And K9 called it out this yeah. time uh, with a cross slash. Yeah, he just he just stepped back a little bit, got him with 4B, and that was the end of the story. And you were talking about how K9 ha can exhibit some incredible patience. So just step back and let the opponent play their cards first. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an up tilt, an up air, and there. Who what does? a beautiful conversion. I am just like being converted to the Bowser Jr. as a viable character camp right now watching all this. In, but the, he lost. <laughs> he did lose. And, <laughs> I, and like, maybe I'd be the fool for it. I, but but like, I'm loving the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could, you could do all this cool stuff, but you know, Cloud does up air three times and right, and it's worth as much because Cloud is top tier. Mm -hmm. Down tilt to down tilt to disadvantage state and catches him with a grab. Yeah, throws him off stage, grabs ledge, and uh, there's the read. There we go. That Caught wasn't that a roll. roll. That wasn't a read. That was a reaction. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, no, but it was a good call out out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Cloud's cross slash just such a threat. 
And just getting all this wow, damage down off. down throw at 30 into an up air. Catches the up B with, oh my goodness. There's like, just no room to breathe for Taternator right now. The worst part is, like, K9's not doing anything too fancy. Like, Absolutely. He's, like, this just, is, he's just demonstrating how Cloud can oppress you with the Buster Sword. Amazing catch on man. that landing with a forward smash. Goodness gracious. Woo! Yeah, Putting it in a clinic in that second sock. That was hard to watch. Yeah, there's just not really much he could do. It's, like, Taternator could do all the cool stuff he wants, but Cloud just presses a few buttons and just beats 